is. Oh my gosh, what a week it's been. Oh, I'm going to run through my stats for the week because they are just amazing. I can't believe it. Um, all right, so let's start us off here. So we've had one order from Redbubble, four commissions, including a sculpture. Uh, we have four YouTube subscribers, so hello everybody. <laughs> Okay, we've had five Etsy orders as well. Five in one week. This is big for me. A lot of people think that's a really small number, but that is so big for me. So I'm very, very grateful. Uh, we are also have 63 Instagram followers now. 63 Instagram followers. I had no clue what I was doing on Instagram. And I've only set it up in the last couple of months. I'm really chuffed with that number. And 134 facebook followers to me that is phenomenal 134 people looking at what i post and that's incredible so thank you very much i'm so grateful to everyone who supports me in whatever way they can so now we're going to do something a bit different today so we're not going to be watching me draw but as i mentioned earlier i do commissions now usually these are drawings sometimes it's sculptures so today I'm going to go through my drawing process for commissions. So I've done various different styles for people. I'm usually asked to draw people's LARP characters, but recently I started playing d and I've just had my second game on Monday night, so I'm still trying to get the hang of it. But I drew my character, who is a tiefling pirate called Fokini. And when I put this picture up, people really liked it and they were asking me to draw their D&D characters in that style. So I'm going to be showing you the first commission I did in this style and I'll take you through each step. First we start off with the brief. So this is where my customer tells me what sort of thing they want me to draw. So what is their character like? What, what do they look like, what do they wear, what weapons do they have and what pose they've got in mind for them to, to be drawn in. So with D&D characters it's usually uh, their character sheet, maybe some pictures they've put together to inspire them for oh this is what my character look, looks like so they send me those and I get a general feel for the character. Next, I'll come up with a basic sketch and send it to the customer to make sure they're happy. So here's where the really fun stuff begins and we start colouring our characters. I'll start with a base layer of colours, make sure our customer's happy with the ones that I've picked and then we start to build up the details and the shadows until we have a finished result. Then I will check with the customer to make sure they are fully happy with the image and sometimes little details will need changing so for this one we had to adjust the size of the runes and the positions of them on the shield. So here we have the half orc Domak Iron Fist. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. My customer is very pleased with this and I have to admit I am too. If you'd like your own commissions, there are several ways to find me. I'm going to list them on here now and also links below. So as always, I hope you have a lovely week ahead. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment. Every little helps. I really appreciate support. And until then, love y'all. Bye.